Hi YouTube, my name's Lynette and this is my very first video, so thanks for watching. Um, I guess a little bit about me is I've been hanging out around YouTube for a while, really enjoying hauls, um, DIYs, crafty videos, pocket letters for sure, huge addict to watching those videos, and I just feel like I want to get involved and I want to hang out a bit with you guys. I made a few friends here and I feel like I know them and they don't know me. So this is just, I don't know, I'm just excited to get involved and to share with you the things that I haul and to find, um, but also a lot of craftiness, a lot of paper crafting, a lot of scrapbooking lot of DIYs myself so I'm just excited to share that with you guys and to kind of get into the community a little bit more than I have been so this is my first video yay I'm very excited so thanks for watching um, I want to start with a Dollar Tree haul I have been saving this stuff for a few weeks without putting it away so I could make my very first video so um it's nothing new, it's nothing you haven't seen already. I've been watching other people haul this stuff, but I just wanna share it with you just to kinda of get myself out there. Um, so anyway, let's get started. First, I wanna say that I've picked up two of these black polka dot bags. I know that a lot of people have been hauling these. They come in pink, um, I think they come in blue, but I love the black and white. It kinda of goes with my room back here. So um, I love the size of them. I love the sturdiness of it. It just works great for toting stuff around, right? Kind of addicted to bags. So I picked up two of those. Um, and I guess I'll start with, let's see, crafty stuff because that's my fave. Crafty and beauty, my two favorite things. Um, So like everybody else, I'm picking up some of the holiday ribbons for some DIYs. Um, these are some Halloween ribbons that I've picked up. Of course that lamp's going to glare. So forgive me guys, I'm first video. This is the uh, jack-o'-lantern. Well gee whiz. Sorry. And the orange. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on the whole lighting thing. Um picked up some of the, this is a dark forest green color, and a light, this was in the fall section, the light green. I'm already bummed out. My video is already sucking. Um, a couple more that I picked up in the fall section, um, the orange leaf and the orange Plaid. I have some DIYs in mind for these. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get to play. I've been sick for a little while, so I haven't been able to do very much lately, but I'm excited to get back in the groove of things. So while the um, burlap ribbon was still there, I picked up two of these browns. This is a really good price. I mean, nine feet for a buck. You can't beat that. I picked up one of the light aqua and the dark forest green colors. Um, two pink burlap. And also, I guess I picked up three brown. Probably I got that in an alternate time. Because, yeah. Um, let's see. I also picked up some of the Halloween ribbon. Um, I picked up one of each style that I found at my store. The spider the orange and black polka dot, purple and black polka dot, spider web, and jack-o'-lantern. I'm excited for these all kinds of, I'm hoping to be pretty crafty and pocket letters. I have people that I owe pocket letters to, so I'm excited to get in the holiday, fall swing of things. Um, I also picked up some of these wire cutters because I can't find mine and a buck is a good price for those. So. I picked up another pack of glitter. I probably have 10 of these different packs of glitter. So I like the gold. So I was using some of the browns, so I picked those up. I also picked up some of these alphabet beads, 
just in the craft section and the kids section, but I thought it might be fun for pocket letters, maybe spelling out names or spelling out things, whatever, just to put them in my craft supplies. I also picked up two decks of these um, M&M Racing NASCAR cards. Not a race fan, not a NASCAR fan. Couldn't tell you who's on the front of these packages, but um, I thought they would be good for pocket letters. Not that I have any boys. I don't. I have two girls, but maybe uh, it will pay off to have some race car cards for pocket letters or just to use them for anything. You can cover them with paper, cover them with tape, wrap ribbon around them, whatever. So I picked up some of those because they seem, they're not a Dollar Tree item, so it's a good thing to pick up. Um, some other things that for some crafts and some DIYs, picked up some of the fall flowers, flowers, sorry. Um, I like these a lot, the whole shrubbery thing. I really like that. Sorry, I'm looking at myself too much. I gotta learn to look at the camera more and not freak out about myself. Um, some of the cattails, those are fun. You get, it looks like I was supposed to get one more, but I got five on the stock, so. And then some of these flowers, those are super cute. Um, oh, sorry. I picked up some of these little crow guys. I thought they would be super cute on the front of a pocket letter, like you can pop them off the stick or maybe in some fall decor around the house or whatever. So we'll see what I come up with, with for that. And I also picked up a couple of little scarecrow dudes. They're so cute. Um, I also picked up some of these clip butterflies with the burlap. I love these and I think this is a great price for a buck and I love that they're on little clips. So you can practically do anything with them. I want to pick up more of these. I forgot. I should be looking. So to keep my eyes open for that. I've only picked up a few stickers lately and they're nothing you haven't already seen. Um, finally found these. I wasn't able to... That, that stupid lamp. I wasn't able to find these for a while. The um, hot air balloon, the enjoy, the little banner across the top how much I can get in here yeah lovely I just really like those those are super cute fun colors um, I picked up the beach themed one dreamland sailboat seashells that's cute I picked up some of the summer with the little ice cream truck that's the first time my store has had these now that summer's over, but I can save them for next year if I don't use them before. Um, and I also picked up some of the camping ones. We're avid campers. We have a VW 1979 bus. So yeah, I do a lot of camping, so that'll be fun. I'll figure out something to do with that. Um, I really like these. Picked up these birds with the little lovely, and what's it say? Sweet memory, reading it backwards. Interesting. So those are cute. And then, oh, I picked up two of those because I really like those. Um, some of the Halloween stuff I picked up more recently. One of these googly eyes, witch and monster stickers. Super cute for pocket letters and cards or whatever. Also picked up two of these adorable pumpkins with the big eyes. I just love those. Those are cute. Um, also picked up two packs of these Halloween googly eyes. These are fun. Those will be super fun in different craft projects this season. <sighs> okay, so I did not get all of the Halloween washi tape yet because I've been sick, but my husband, sweet as he is, knows how I wanted to get to Dollar Tree and I haven't been able to do my normal. I have four Dollar Trees in my area and I like to go hit them all and see who has what and who doesn't. I haven't been able to do that. So my husband was sweet and stopped in for me um, at his lunch break one day and picked up some of the washi tape for me. He didn't know there was 12. He didn't know I wanted them all because we all want them all. <laughs> 
So he just picked up what he thought was cute and I'm gonna have to find the rest on my own, but that's okay because that was super sweet of him. But yeah, I think I've only got 10. No, I'm missing four, so that would mean I have eight. And he did buy me a couple duplicates. So you guys have seen these all over Instagram and YouTube. I don't have to show them to you, but so far I have eight and I need to get the others and I haven't even seen the Christmas ones in my store yet but I'm super excited about that too so I think this cat is probably one of my favorites next to the one that says spooky and trick-or-treat just cute I love it I can't wait to play um, then I picked up a few Christmas things because I know that I can't even think about Christmas yet but when you do craft projects and you're doing things like that you need it ahead of time and it just takes a little while so I picked up two packs of these foam stickers with the bows and the snowflakes and the Christmas trees and I'm pretty sure this is the same except it has snowmen and reindeer so those are cute I'm excited I want to be crafty um, I picked up three packs of these bells, gold, red, and green, because these would be ultra cute hanging. I mean, okay, you do everything with bells, but I have pocket letters on the brain because I haven't been able to do them in a while, so I just love the thought of hanging them all over so it just rings. And then I picked up Christmas ribbon. I didn't realize I picked up two of these, probably because there's literally stuck together. Anyway, so I got two of these. Uh, Merry Christmas, peace, love, joy. Oops, sorry. Bump that. And then I picked up this red with the flourishes and the red with the swirl and the snowflakes. Next time, don't have that light on. And then I picked up this Merry Christmas with the snowflakes. I like that. Green, that's just like the red. Sorry about the glare, guys. And then this white with silver flourish. Cute, love them. Oh my goodness, I think I have a whole ribbon hoard going on over here. I don't know how I'm even gonna fit that in with the rest of my ribbon now that I look at it up close and personal. Um, some of the home things that I have picked up lately is two, I've gotten actually three, I have some on my desk shelf, crafty shelf right now, but a couple of these mason jars, super cute, two for a buck, little jars you can do anything with, right, put anything in, just cute in your little craft area. I've also picked up some of these candles. I haven't burned any yet. I'm saving them for a little cooler weather. I'm not ready to give up my mango candle quite yet, but um, I just love these. I know a lot of people have been hauling them. They say they smell great. Don't have a big throw, but um, I figure if you burn a couple in the kitchen, that's better than just one. So I have picked up two in the blueberry and two in the Cranberry Smash. I think those two were my favorites. Um, I wasn't too thrilled over the banana nut bread. I don't know, it just didn't smell right to me, and I struggle with anything sweet anyway. If I smell sweet, like the Dunkin', not Dunkin' Donuts, the Krispy Kreme, or any of the sugar cookies, forget it, I wanna eat, and I <laughs> don't need to eat extra, so it's hard for me to burn those kind of things but I enjoy the fruity, I enjoy the baked goods. So this is the Illuminescence pumpkin pie. I haven't, I don't really know too much about these. I haven't burned these, but um, anxious to try it. It definitely smells good in the jar and the jars are super cute. I will love to reuse these around my craft area or maybe doing something with them for Christmas project wise. So. Better get to burning so I can have those for Christmas. A uh, couple books that I picked up. I've been loving Dollar Tree books lately. I'm actually cracked into one I should share that I love. I'm halfway through it and it is just such a good book. Some of them I really struggle with getting into, you know, but 
I will have to share it in one of my upcoming videos that I'm reading that I just love. But I'm not sure about this one, but frog music um, just looks good. I like the... I like the cover. I like the hard cover in it. It's $27 retail, so that's a good buy. And for my daughter, who is a Lord of the Rings nut, she's 14, and she just she's read them all. She watches them all the time. I found this, A Brief Guide to J.R.R. Tolkien. So she was pretty stoked about that. I thought it was a good find. This one, $13.95 in the U.S., so... I was excited to find that for her. And then just a little bit more, I picked up some of these clear gems that are diamond shape. Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't say how many in the package, but oh, they're just the clear gems. I picked up two bags for myself and one for my older daughter. I thought they would be cute in a jar with some makeup brushes. Not that I need any more makeup brushes out but I don't know I just thought it was cute and it would be a cute addition to my space so we'll see what I come up with for those um, I had to get another sleeping mask I swear now I have four of these but <sighs> I am super sensitive to light at night so anyway it's helpful I just like them I like taking them camping you never know I'm getting more comfortable wearing them at first they were awkward but I like having them and I always want to know where they are the only elf that has come to my store so far of the new ones that people have been hauling, um, I got this purple eyeliner and eyeshadow stick. Haven't tried it yet, but most elf things I get I love. And purple, I really like playing with that. So that goes well. Most of the colors I find don't work with blue eyes. or So I was excited to find that. And I also got this eye enhancing mascara, which I haven't tried yet either. So I'm anxious to try those things. Um, finally came to my store. I've seen other people haul these like, I swear months ago, maybe not, but this little lip brush, the L'Oreal, you know, traveling looking lip brush. So I'm excited to put that in my purse. This is like, I have a ton of these that I have picked up over the summer. But since we're so close to Halloween, I couldn't pass it up, especially since my store like keeps them together. So you're literally getting two for a dollar. And knowing that these have retailed for 10 to 12 bucks, that's a great buy. Even if I stick them in pocket letters and give them away, I have bought a ton of them. And speaking of a ton of nail stickers, okay, this is like a new addiction that I have right now. Forgive me. I just can't help it. But I've picked up this many essays over the last, ooh, I think it was three trips to the store. So I love this one. I only found this at one store with the print on it. I just think it's pretty. Um, lace. I'm going to get a glare, so I don't know. I don't believe really, you guys have seen all of these. There are nothing that you haven't seen already other than those words that's like the only time I saw those so anyway I picked up a whole bunch of those and I will put them in my nail sticker collection and I actually think that's it well wait I have a couple more I'm at 18 minutes and I'm trying not to be so long everybody needs to see my cleaning supplies this soap everybody's been hauling I have one at my kitchen sink. I picked up two because it, you know, is in the Dollar Tree product, so I wanted to try it. I have to say, I'm not that thrilled with it. I think the soap is barely foamy, and this pump barely, like, it feels like it flexes, and it just isn't that strong. I'm just not that impressed with it. I thought it was going to be like Method, since it kind of has that copycat look. I'll use it, but... I won't be buying anymore. And then the last thing I picked up, three of these new Harvest Color bins that I plan on putting in my haul closet to keep um, stocking caps and mittens and all those good things now that we're getting back into the colder season and my kids will be using the haul closet more. I really need to clean that out and organize that. So 
thank you so much for watching my very first video. Thank you for being gracious to me and forgiving me for all my little flaws and my lighting and the shakiness and yeah. I just appreciate you watching. I would definitely appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and maybe subscribing to my channel if you're interested in things like DIYs and pocket letters and scrapbooking and card making. I plan on posting more of those videos soon. I want to post something crafty with this one so you can kind of get a better idea of who I am and what I plan on doing here on YouTube. So. Thank you again for watching. I'm super excited and I hope to find the rest of that washi tape. Wish good luck to me. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye.